First, uh, Jeff Williams will be exiting the Quest airlock on his fifth spacewalk, uh, followed by Kate Rubens. Jeff will lead from the airlock up onto the main truss segment. Uh, because of the distance of the radiator from the airlock, it's actually on the end of the truss out P6, Jeff will be uh, taking the safe tethers of both crew members out and uh, setting them up on P1 uh, to allow enough reach uh, for them from the airlock all the way out to P6. And uh, while he's taking care of that, Kate will wait uh, at the airlock for him to set that up. And then he'll head out towards the solar alpha rotor joint, the Sarge, and then followed by Kate, who will come after. She will follow that same path and uh, follow her tether to meet Jeff out there before they both head out to the prime task on the EVA, which is re retracting the ticker, as uh, Zeb mentioned earlier. As was mentioned, this uh, previously tried to retract this on US EVA 33. And, uh, they had a lot of other tasks that they had to do and uh, were unable to get to this one successfully, but uh, we were taking this as our prime task and we'll go ahead and uh, knock it out first on the EVA. So once both crew get outboard of the Sarge there, they'll inspect uh, the radiator and the various mechanisms around it to make sure none of them will be in the way as we retract it. Both the shroud and there are six inches rotated or located around it that they'll inspect. Kate will translate around the zenith side of that truss and uh, Jeff on the nadir looking at uh, the radiator to make sure it's prepared for its retraction on the CVA. Once they've completed their inspections, Jeff will move into place uh, to take his pistol grip tool or PGT a, a power tool to retract uh, the radiator manually while Kate gets in position to view the radiator's retraction to make sure it goes smoothly. Uh, with its location uh, facing forward on the ISS, we'll have good views from the ground as well to help uh, the crew monitor its retraction. You see here, Kate will slide outboard and get a, a view of uh, the radiator, while Jeff uh, puts himself on the outboard side in position there at the bolt. And as was stated, we retracted it previously, and we've got the video here of uh, what we hope to see on this attempt is a nice smooth uh, retraction of uh, the radiator as it comes down and gets retracted fully to protect it from the MOD and uh, thermal conditions, as Zeb mentioned earlier. Assuming uh, a nice uh, clean retraction there and they've got it seated fully, uh, the crew will work to install four cinches, much as you would uh, the uh, uh, lug nuts on your car tire. They'll work in a cross pattern, diagonally from each other, installing two cinches here, and then they will slide and, and uh, work a cross pattern two additional cinches and work back and forth uh, a couple times at each bolt to uh, get the radiator fully cinched and compressed into place. After fully securing all four of the cinches, uh, the next step is to uh, deploy a thermal cover uh, in order to uh, fully protect the radiator. It gets uh, both uh, thermal protection and uh, micrometeorable debris protection from that uh, cover. And uh, deploying that shroud over the radiator will complete uh, the uh, retraction of the radiator and the, the prime task on the EVA. So here you see the crew, they'll move uh, the shroud, which was stowed by uh, a previous crew that deployed the radiator, Sunny Williams and Aki Hoshide, and uh, they'll deploy that and cinch it tight to uh, protect that radiator. Moving on for the second set of tasks on the EVA, Jeff will pick up a foot restraint here and make his way back inboard to the SSRMS or the Canada Arm 2 for the high definition camera task that Zeb mentioned, while Kate is translating uh, back all the way to the airlock to retrieve those cameras uh, for Jeff to install. So she'll pick up a, both a high definition camera and a, a light from the airlock uh, to put on the camera port nine work site that's on uh, the nadir side of the port one truss. While Jeff will meet uh, the SSRMS that's being uh, driven by uh, JAXA crew member uh, Takuya Nishi, uh, who will then uh, drive the arm in on, under Jeff's uh, guidance such, so that they can get the foot restraint installed and the safe tether installed. While uh, Jeff is uh, installing that, Kate will come out to meet him uh, with his uh, bag of, uh, of uh, ORU so that he can install them on the, the nadir side of the truss there, that camera just below where he is right now. 
And after picking up his bag, they'll maneuver the, the arm down to the nadir side of the truss there. So following retrieving that bag for Jeff, Kate will have some secondary tasks that she'll go off to um, at the uh, solar alpha rotary joint, the Sarge, uh, cinching those bolts, as I mentioned, and also uh, doing a Sarge inspection. So she'll translate outboard, uh, grab some tools that she'll need for those tasks, and then head back around to tighten the three remaining bolts of the, the Sarge. There were a fourth one that was previously tightened on USC VF33, and they saw improvement in the data uh, so they decided that the, the remaining three bolts would uh, hopefully uh, finish the uh, job there. So Kate will translate around uh, three corners and uh, give us uh, good photos and uh, video closeout as she goes ahead and tightens those bolts and secures the thermal booties around them. Previously on USCV 33, they saw one of the booties was dislodged, and so we're going to make sure that uh, if, the, if need be, if the Velcro is degraded on those booties, that they can put a wire tie to secure them in place. So she'll translate around to multiple uh, joints here. Second one and then a third one. And depending on uh, timing here and lighting conditions of how the EVA is going, uh, she will complete a Sarge inspection. Previously on STS-134, the crew did lube the port Sarge and the ground has done some testing to see how that uh, lube will hold up over time. Uh, we'll get Kate's uh, on-site inspection to verify that the ground testing is uh, matching up with what happens on orbit. And uh, we'll catch that during, uh, sometime during one of the day passes and she'll come swing by here, give us her report and uh, take photos of that for later ground analysis. And while she's working on that, Jeff will uh, work in here. He'll first change out uh, this light. This is the a light that has uh, burnt out its bulbs, and once we get complete shin up the RPCM r and that Zeb mentioned, they will have a, a good heater circuit there for the light, uh, new light to be put in its place and make this camera fully functional. And on the side of the standard definition camera that's already there, we'll install an additional high definition camera so they'll be co-located to get both standard def and high def from the same pan tilt. And Jeff will uh, clean up his work site and uh, have a talk back the arm away. Following uh, Kate Sarge inspection task, she will move back outboard towards the uh, radiator work site that we previously were at. We have uh, some ORUs that uh, are uh, pump flow control subassemblies that are ammonia pumps for the outboard elements. And those pumps had previously failed and they are under an MLI blanket. And to enable future uh, change out of these boxes by the SPDM, Dexter, the Kate will fold back that MLI and tie it back and so a future SpaceX mission can bring up uh, replacement boxes. And so the, uh, since the, uh, the MLI was never designed for robotic compatibility, she'll just tuck that out of the way and wire tie it in place. That'll complete the main task objectives on the EVA for the day. So Jeff will uh, uh, guide Talk in the arm back to the uh, same position he got in and uh, he'll egress the arm and uh, stow both his foot restraint and uh, remove his tether from the arm and get back on the structure for cleanup. Once he's uh, cleaned up the arm and allowed uh, Talk to, to move it to the overnight park position, he, uh, they will take the foot restraint and install it on the uh, CETA cart in, for future use on another EVA. And then uh, the crew will repeat uh, a reverse direction of their egress and uh, Jeff will meet up at the tether anchor point while Kate heads back to the airlock and they will uh, uh, use their tethers to uh, move their way back to the airlock and uh, ingress for a uh, hopefully successful US EVA 37. And then we'll get Jeff back inside for preparation for his return just a few days later.